This is what Trump did immediately after illegal killed border agent to ensure it never happens again. Illegals crossing the border in Texas crossed another line yesterday after what they did to Border Patrol agents. We've known for some time that the illegal alien problem in the United States is completely out of control, but the considerations given to illegals by the left seems to have emboldened them to extreme levels. No longer content with just crossing into the United States to get good jobs or live in freedom, the illegals flooding our borders are now proving what many have known for some time. If they're willing to break the law to come here, they'll break other laws while they're here. One Texas Border Patrol learned that in the most difficult way possible on Sunday when a band of illegals bashed his head in with rocks. The agent radioed for support, and at least one other agent was also injured in the attack, though details of his status are not yet being released to the media, but he is said to be hospitalized at this time. President Trump who has from the very first day of his political career vowed to do something about the illegal problem in the United States, weighed in on the incident, making it clear what his intentions are. According to the Daily Mail, the president made some promises that should make every illegal tremble in fear. President Donald Trump says those responsible for the death of one U.S. Customs and Border Protection agent and the serious injury of another will be brought to justice. He also reiterated his call for a wall at the U.S. border with Mexico. A border protection spokesman says agent Rogelio Martinez and his partner were hospitalized Sunday after being hurt while on duty in the Big Bend area of South Texas. There has always been an era of helplessness that illegals attempted to project when the subject of their illegal immigration was raised. As if the only purpose that anyone had for coming to the United States was just to work hard and make a better future for their families. And while that might be true for some, the overwhelming numbers of gang members, professional welfare collectors, and other criminals have exploded, completely eviscerating that much promoted ideology. Sunday's attack has prompted an investigation by the FBI, which is now in charge of the investigation. The officer who tragically died in the line of duty was agent Rogelio Martinez. Martinez was 36 years old and has been a Border Patrol agent since August of 2013. One Border Patrol agent is dead and his partner left hospitalized in serious condition in the Big Bend sector of Texas. The FBI is leading the investigation while Border Patrol Special Operations Agents and Customs and Border Protection CBP, Air and Marine Operations air crews are currently searching the area for possible attackers. We do know that two Border Patrol agents working as partners in the Van Horn Station area of responsibility of the Big Bend sector responded to activity. Whether the activity was an activated sensor or something else is currently unknown. This occurred on the morning of Sunday, November 19, 2017. One of the Border Patrol agents later radioed into the communication center saying that he needed assistance and that he was injured. Other Border Patrol agents responded and found one agent injured and unconscious with injuries to his head and body. That agent, Rogelio Martinez, was later pronounced dead. Briet Bard has learned that the agent's family has been notified. The responding agents also found the partner who had radioed for help. The agents transported the injured agent to the hospital where he is in serious condition, according to the official. Border Patrol agents and Culberson County Sheriff's Office deputies secured the area. Border Patrol agent and president of the National Border Patrol Council, NBPC, Brandon Judd spoke with Briet Bard, Texas, and expressed the council's deepest condolences to the family of Agent Martinez and to the family of the other agent who is not named at this time. Agent Judd said that this is another example of why the border must be secured. Judd stated, When all facts come to light on this matter, I believe the public will be outraged as there are those who do not value life who come across our border. Our borders must be secured and criminals must be held accountable. Border Patrol agent Brandon Judd, also president of the NBPC, stated, what we know is that Border Patrol agent Rogelio Martinez appears to have been ambushed by a group of illegal aliens whom he was tracking. Our agents' reports from the ground say that he was struck in the head multiple times with a rock or rocks. We have officially blown past 